Being able to share the content of your data model, like your diagrams and documentation with your organization is very important. Hi, I'm SQL DBM product evangelist, Keith Belanger, and I would like to demonstrate for you our Confluence integration. Starting in our SQL DBM dashboard, let's enter a project. Every project has a variety of diagrams you might want to share with folks. You can have diagrams at the root level. You can also have diagrams at your subject area level. Now let's go into Confluence and show how you can add these diagrams into your Confluence sites. I have made my way over to my Confluence account. In order to leverage the SQL DBM app, we first need to add it to our Confluence account. To do that, let's go to the Apps menu and hit the drop down and go to Find New Apps. Here in the search bar, we will type in SQL DBM. And here we find the SQL DBM application. In the upper right, we have the Get App. It's a yellow button. Let's click on that. It brings us to the Add to Confluence screen. And let's select Get It Now. In the lower right, it tells us it's adding SQL DBM and it has successfully installed the plugin. Let's make our way back to the home page. And here on the home page, I have created a page where we will be able to add our ER diagrams. Here on our page, I'm just going to go in to edit the page and I'm just simply going to push backslash, start typing in SQL DBM, find the application, and it'll bring up this pop up in terms of which project in SQL DBM that we want to add the diagram from. So I'm going to select the very top project, click next. Here it's going to give us our options of what we want to display. So do we want to display the report page or do you want to display the diagram? So let's say we want to do a diagram. I want to do the last revision, but you can also see you can select other revisions. We'll keep it at last. And for now, we're going to use a root diagram and which diagram? Let's go with the raw vault diagram and let's insert that into our page. Now that we've added that diagram, there's a variety of sizes. You can go for the middle or even very much wider. We'll go with the middle one. And now we've added that diagram. Let's add another second diagram here. Let's say this is the ER diagram subject area. So we'll do one for a subject area. Again, backslash, type in SQL DBM. It will bring up our pop-up. We'll select the same project. Next, again, we'll do a relationship diagram. Again, last revision. This time, let's do one of the subject areas. We'll do one of our hub groups. And in there, let's do hub customer. We'll leave the rest be. And again, we'll insert that diagram into our page. Select the middle one. And now we have another diagram. Now that I have the two diagrams that I want into my page, I'm just going to select the update button here up in the upper right. And now we have made this diagrams available to our consumers. Again, these are live diagrams from inside SQL DBM. So as you can see, I can navigate around. I can zoom in, zoom out. And as objects are added to the diagram with inside SQL DBM, they would be made here inside Confluence. Now I want to show you how you can add a SQL DBM report to a Confluence page. Here inside SQL DBM, in our documents section, we also have the report page. If I click on a report page, it opens up an independent HTML set of pages that we can navigate and see the various pieces of metadata that make up our project. We can also do a search. And once we do the search, it'll look at all the different descriptions, table names, column names, and be able to jump to that. So again, very interactive to be able to understand the metadata within the project. Now let's go and add this report to our Confluence site. I am now in my Confluence account and I've created myself a blank page for adding my project report. So here I am inside the page. I'm now going to go into edit. Here I'm going to type backslash SQL DBM. That'll then log into my account. We're going to use the demo project. Hit next. 
the next option we'll do is pick our report page. Yes, we want the latest revision. I'm just gonna change this to be 800, give it a little bit more size so that we can see it. And then I'm gonna insert that into my page, gonna widen it up a little bit. And as you can see, it looks just like the report that we did from with inside SQL DBM. I'm now going to just update this page. Now that we've updated and published it, I can interact with this report much like I could inside SQL DBM. So again, I can see our columns, the details. I can once again do that search for customer, click on a, what I want and jump to that. And so now you have the report feature of SQL DBM now inside your Confluence page with the same interactiveness that you had from with inside SQL DBM. And that is the SQL DBM integration with Confluence.